Hello everyone, I'm Soporific and welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Exoperfect Talks. If you guys haven't seen the last episode, make sure you guys go check that out. And in this episode, I'll be talking about movies. The wheel chose that the next topic I talk about is movies. And I didn't have any notes for this one, because normally when I do these commentary videos, I write some notes on my phone about stuff to talk about. But since I have nothing right now, I'm just gonna freestyle it. So, movies, movies, movies. Some people like them, some people don't. I like movies, but when you put it against other things like TV shows, anime, video games, movies like the last thing I'm picking. Like I prefer TV shows over movies, and video games of course, anime, yeah. Now I can't remember if I say this in a video already, but if I have, I think I said something along the lines of I haven't been in a movie since I was like in the single digits of my age, which isn't true. Because I was in the shower and I was thinking about it and I was like, wait a minute, the last time I was in a movie theater was like 2016 because in middle school, we had a little trip where my history class took us in the movies to watch something about something history related. So before 2022, the last time I was in a movie theater was six years ago. And if I didn't go to the movie theater in 2016, the last time I would have been in a movie theater was 2010. Actually, I don't think it's 2010. I think the last time I went in a movie theater was 2012. What year did the, what's it called? The Hunger Games movie come out? It was 2012, right? The thing is, I just haven't been to a movie theater in years. That's the major takeaway I'm trying to get at. But yeah, I just haven't had any incentive to go to the movies, but as years went on, I got older and I got stuff. Now I have a car, I have an income, and one day, back in February of 2022, I was like, there's actually a movie theater nearby. Maybe I should go and check it out one day. And sure enough, that's what I did. So it's my first time going to movie theaters in forever. I'm going by myself for the first time. And the movie that I was seeing as my first time back in the theaters was the Jujutsu Kaisen movie, the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie. As for the experience, it was very jarring. Figuring out how to pay for tickets and getting in, how expensive the tickets are, how expensive the movie snacks are. That was ridiculous. Then going to a dark theater, and it's an anime movie, so I know anime is mainstream now, but even so, anime movies don't really, at least in my area, it doesn't seem to get a lot of attraction. Unless it's like huge movies like, uh, what's it called? That recent uh, Dragon Ball movie that dropped, and also the One Piece movie. I saw those in theaters and they were pretty packed. But Jujutsu Kaisen's kind of new, and it's very popular. I thought I would see more people in there, but it was like at least 10 people in that theater, including me. And I didn't know about the different like theaters they had. Like they have digital, they have IMAX, and they have what's it called, the Dolby Theater. And I didn't know the differences. I'm pretty sure what I bought was an IMAX, which is more expensive than the digital. It's just a larger display screen with louder speakers. I watched the movie dubbed. I don't mind dub. I like listening to things in my own language and I can understand. And also, I won't have to focus on reading subtitles at the bottom of the screen while all the action is happening upward. But yeah, that IMAX experience was something because, man, those speakers were so loud, it was blaring in that theater. Half of the time, I couldn't even join the movie because it was so loud. I spent the majority of the time just covering my ears, hoping that I wouldn't form tonight after the movie. It's like, I wanted to sit there and enjoy the movie, but the whole time I was just thinking, no, I'm gonna sit here and get my money's worth, but sheesh, can this end already because my ears can't take it. But eventually, it got over, and I was like, huh, that was something. And then I left. Then after that, I think the next time I went back to the theater was to see the Batman movie. And after that, I was like, huh, going to the physical movies isn't that bad. And that's what I did. Over the year, anytime movie I was interested in, I find some time to go out, go to the movies, and enjoy myself. I don't have a list in front of me of the movies that came out in 2022, but some movies that I can think of off the dome that I saw was the Jujutsu Kaisen movie, the Batman movie, uh, the Bad Guys, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie, uh, the Dragon Ball movie, the One Piece movie, the Smile movie, yeah, that horror movie that came out recently. Oh, how can I forget the Buzz Lightyear movie? I forgot that came out. And there were some other ones that I can't remember. But yeah, so far, I've been recently enjoying going back to the movies. Oh, and I just remembered also, I actually did go one time with my friends from trade school. While I was still in trade school, we decided to find some time to go to the movies together, and we actually saw, what's it called, Black Adam, which I thought was pretty nice. And yeah, the movie going experience is pretty fun. Enjoying the film you're looking forward to, while also indulging in snacks. It's great. The most recent movie I saw was what's it called? Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. That movie is really good. I think I'm gonna talk about it for a little bit just to, you know, extend the time. I know I watched the first Puss in Boots movie, but that was so long ago, I just don't remember anything about it. I mean, it's kind of understandable because the first Puss in Boots movie came out like over a decade ago. And of course, there were some returning characters that I recognized, but I didn't fully remember. But other than that, the movie was great. The world looked alive, the animation was good. I like how they added 2D elements onto 3D. I like the cool fights and cinematography, the voice acting, action scenes, the characters, like, bro, there is no unlikable character in that movie. They did a lot of cutaways in that movie because we're following a group all the way to one location and it would, like split between groups and I wasn't complaining because I like all the characters. I want to see what all of them are doing. It's not like when they cut away to one character, I was like, oh, we got to see what he's doing. I want to go back to Puss, but no. Every single character in that movie is likable. I like the animation style they chose to go with that movie. Bro, when them frames start dropping in a fight, you know things are going to go down. It's been a while since I've seen the DreamWorks film. And that got me excited for DreamWorks future projects. I think they're coming with another sequel for, what's it called, Kung Fu Panda in 2023? I could be wrong. I think I saw that somewhere. And I think I saw something for Shrek as well. That'd be pretty cool. But if those movies that are coming out can be as good as this movie or even better, that'll be much appreciated. 
If you guys haven't seen Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, I highly suggest you go see it. It's a great experience. I'm definitely going to watch it with my family when I get the chance. And yeah, okay, enough talking about that movie. And that's, that's all the thoughts I have off the dome. I can't really think of anything else I want to talk about. I hope I talked about everything I wanted to because there's been times where I've done something like this and then finished editing the video and everything, uploaded it. I was like, oh, I could talk about this, but I think that's everything. At the time of recording this, it's January 4th. Tomorrow I'm going to go see that new Megan movie. I think it's like a horror movie. It seems interesting. And I'm gonna check it out in theaters. I don't know if every theater does this, but that mega movie I'm gonna go see, it releases January 6th. But for some reason, whenever movies are about to come out, my theater, it releases it like a day early. So I usually go a day early. And it's perfect because that movie releases on Friday too, and I don't have time to go to theaters on Friday. So Thursday, I can make time for Thursday. I'll go right after work. Oh, not just that. On Thursday, I get paid, and I also get my new catcher card from Amazon. So it's looking like a nice day tomorrow. Well, for you guys, it's going to be today because I'm releasing this tomorrow. Oh, great. My heat came on. Perfect timing. Well, it would have been better if it stayed off, but I'm going to end the video now before it gets loud. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Exo Perfect Talks. I'm going to spin the wheel for next video's topic, and I'm going to get out of here. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so perfect, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. And the topic for the next episode is...